Hey everyone, so today um, what I want to show you is Wednesday's video. Um, I had edited it, or I'm editing it now. And so I want to show you guys how we edit it, what I use to edit it, and see maybe if you guys have some advice for me or if you can learn something from this. Uh, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe, like, do all that fun stuff, and thanks for watching the video. Alright everybody, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, so basically, this is Adobe Premiere Pro. It's what we use to um, edit all our videos and whatnot. Um, it's part of the Creative Cloud. Um, so if you're going to use this, it's real simple, it's real easy, it's nice to use. Um, so you just come in here and hit New Project, and then title it, whatever, and I, this is an unboxing video, I think, or whatever when Wednesday's video is, you guys will see it. So <clears throat> This is just where I have all my stuff, I have a folder for YouTube stuff, and then I have Final Cuts for everything that's been finalized, and we'll go ahead and just... Name this Amazon Unboxing. Because I don't know what she got. Well, yeah, that's right. I got to create a new folder called Amazon Unboxing. All right. So make sure you change that because it'll go to the last one that you had. And it'll put all your stuff in the last folder. Um, so you just hit OK. <clears throat> and this is what it'll come up as. Uh, this is your project box. You'll be working in here quite often. This is where all your uh, videos and stuff is. I just like to take that and drag it over here. It's just my preference. You, know, you can set it up however you want. I just slide this stuff out of the way because I don't need my audio box that big. Um, the next thing that we're going to be doing is you hit File, go to Import, and this is where you'll import. This is my music right here. Um, so we'll go back to the YouTube stuff. And you can see I have the videos in here. Um, this is actually the intro for today's video. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this one, this one, and then these things. Well, not that one. That can get deleted, actually. So yeah, just those. And hit open. And then wait for it to import. And boom, now all your stuff's in here. Um, and then you just right click or left click and then drag it up here and it's in there and then this is where you'll be doing all your cutting and stuff for the video so we'll go ahead and start doing that okay so we're going to go ahead and start you know cutting through this video and whatnot and we're going to hit go ahead and hit play from the beginning here okay we got a package today so, so i'm going to unbox that thanks if you guys already watched Wednesday's video, you're probably going to see a lot of the same stuff because that's what I'm editing, so just bear with me here. Basically, um, in two weeks, my last born child turns one. So I already know what this is, but I'm just going to go ahead and unbox it anyways. Um, I tend to go all out on birthday parties. Um, if I'm not mistaken, that pretty much this whole video, whole, vi whole video is going to be a part of this. So I guess description of it. So I actually have to put... Yeah, so there actually isn't a whole, whole lot of editing here. You're down here. All right. Do we see the camera? <gasps> Kason's always up mommy's butt doing this stuff. Peekaboo. <laughs> okay, so basically this whole video is going to be used. So I'll show you if you just want to cut some stuff. Um, you know, say we want to cut it right here. This is what you hit mark in. And so now whenever you um, drag this over to your timeline, it's only going to drag in from your mark in to wherever you mark out. So, you know, we want to just do this. Just hit mark out. Um, these right here, if you just want to do, I can just drag over here and put the video in and there's no audio, which I don't want to do that. Or you can drag in just the audio. Um, you can drag in both by just holding on to the the uh, picture right here and just dragging it over and boom now you have both for him so like I said it's pretty simple to use it's not bad um, and you know you can adjust these however you want which like I said I'm pretty much using the whole video so um, another cool feature about this is this right here um, you can select the resolution so I don't really need a full resolution while I'm trying to edit it and it makes it a little bit faster so that's why I have it on a quarter um, which I don't know why it's, it doesn't let me put it on an eighth or a sixteenth, but um, over here, whenever I'm doing the playback, I will have it on full just so I can kind of see it a little bit better. So anyway, we'll go ahead and drag this on in, 
Um, I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. Maybe we'll add case and throwing. Throwing all the clothes. No, I don't want to do that. Uh. Okay. We got a package today. So, I'm going to unbox that, basically. Um, in two weeks, my last born child turns one. So, I already know what this is, but I'm just going to go ahead and unbox it anyways. Um, I tend to go all out on birthday parties. Okay, see, this is, I was going to do this as an intro, but it's way too long. So, I think we'll just cut it in, or mark it out whenever she, uh, Okay. She, she's unboxing. We got a package today, so. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do for the intro. So, we just drag this over there and put it right there. And then I'll, I'll do a little bit more to this, but that's all I want for right now. Um, now all I'm going to do is come through here, probably get the baby at the end. All right. Do we see the camera? <laughs> okay, so I marked this in and then marked it out right there, and I'm going to use this as kind of the intro where it's going to say Managing the Moors. It's going to say our brand name on it. Um, and to do that, I'm just going to put my little thing over here so I can see a little bit better. Um, it's actually really easy. They have this little type tool, and you just hit that, and you can drag it, and that's all you got to do. Then you can just start typing. Well, if I could spell right. Okay, so I, highlight, I highlighted just, just what I do. You don't have to, I don't think. But um, Now, to get to the effects controls on this, which this is your effects control, um, you just double-click this, and that makes it to where the graphic is now in the effects control and not your source or the other video. And so all I'm going to do, I'm going to change this. Um, I got some of these. They're quotable. You can get this from the fonts. I like the, I like the way that the font looks on and then we're just going to scale it up. We're going to center it. Scale a little further. Um, maybe a little more. There. That way it takes up the whole screen. Um, let's see here. Let move this back. And then, oh, just so you guys know, you can move these around just, you know, dragging them. And it snaps into place, so it's pretty easy to get it exactly where you want it. And if you just hold over on the edge of these, you can drag them and make them as long as you want to make them or as short as you want to make them. I just, as long as this piece is here, is how long I make them. That's just what I do. Okay, so, um, let's see. Okay, that's all good. I don't want to mess with that. What I tend to do is, well... Okay, so just since I drew the audio over here, all I have to do is lock this video into place, and then now only the audio is highlighted, and all you do is hit delete, and now I won't have audio there. I'm going to put music there instead. So, let's see. What do I want to do? I'm going to just scale it. So this right here is your um, animation toggles. You can add keyframes to make it do different things. Um, so I added a keyframe here, and basically at that keyframe, I want it to be zero because it's going to come in from basically the back and um, get bigger. And then right here, I'm gonna add another keyframe and make this at 100. So I'll show you what it does. So that way, it, you know, kind of comes in and gets bigger. And then we're gonna come back over here and drag this just so it has a little bit of time to stay big so everybody can see it. Hit one more keyframe to make this 100. So you're gonna leave it just the way it was and then drag it all the way to the end. And then at that point, you're going to hit the keyframe again and change this to zero. So what it should do is come in and get bigger and then go out today. and get smaller. Yep, just like that. So that's perfect. That's the way I want it. Um, so another thing that I need to do, because this is really dark here, um, we'll double click this and then go into our effects control. And I don't need the um, toggle animation on the opacity, but what I am going to do is change it to about 30% just so it's real dark. Um, and you'll understand why when I'm done here.
So the next thing that I like to do is go into my effects over here, and it already has a lot of, well, it has a few um, audio tran transitions, but it has a lot of video transitions, and they're really easy to do, and most of them look re really, really good. So I like to use the, the film dissolve. You just, just um, hold down on it and drag it over, and you can adjust this so you can see a little bit more of your timeline here. And what I like, just so it's real quick, is just to change this to where it's, you know, what is that? Fifth of a second? No, it's not a fifth of a second. It's a small number. That's all I know. And I'll show you what it does. So it has a real smooth transition. I don't know if you guys could see that or not. but Yeah, it has a real smooth transition into it. And you can see that the background over here is real dark, so the, the letters stand out a lot more. And I just think that that looks better. And boom, it's gone. So, what's the next thing? The next thing, we're just going to add the rest of the video in, I guess. I think that's all we got. Except for the first, what, four seconds? I'm going to unbox that. And you can see we can mark this in, and then we can adjust it up here. Or I'll just drag the whole thing since I'm using the whole thing. And let's see where it starts off. Basically. Okay, so it started off kind of in the middle of a sentence. So we'll drag this out a little further. And let's see where that's. Unbox that, basically. Um, I don't even remember where she left off at. We got a package today. Okay, so just we got a package today. So I think we need to go a little further out. I'm going to unbox that, basically. Okay, so see, that's perfect. That's what I want. And then again, we'll just do film dissolve, bring it over. Double click that and then get rid of our one and hit enter. So now we'll look at it again. We got a package today. And let's just see how this looks. I'm going to unbox that basically. Um, All right, so to me, that looks pretty good. Um, I think it's fine. The only other thing that we're going to need to do is add our subscribe button and add some music. And this little bit of casing being kind of a butthole. Where's the part where he's throwing clothes? <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do, just so everybody has a little bit of funny baby stuff going on, I'm going to go ahead and put that right here. <laughs> okay. So that's pretty good. Hopefully this fits in my... That's a little big. Okay, so again, you know, we can drag this out and then bring these down and back up. And then another cool thing you guys can do if you have an issue is whatever the problem is, you can just right click here and hit ripple delete and it'll make it smooth for you. It'll get everything snapped into place. So we're going to do our film dissolve again just because I like this animation. If you guys like something else, let me know and I'll try to use it instead if you guys think it'll work better. Okay, so let's start from here. I just want to check the check the animations. I'm gonna unbox that basically. Um, eh, I don't really like that. It kind of kind of goes off in the middle, weird, in my opinion. Maybe we will. What do you guys think? Should we just add it at the beginning and then go into the unboxing? Let's try that. Just this part. I don't want to get rid of this because I did a work on it. Okay, so that's about all I want to use. So another cool thing about Adobe is this cut tool. Because I already um, marked it in and out, and it's a little too long for me. So if I have this cut tool, all I have to do is see it will snap right where I want it to go. 
and just hit that and it cuts it into two separate videos. So now I can just delete what I don't want. And then we'll go ahead and move that back. And I got rid of the one video that I wanted to keep that was at the end. So great. Have to remake that. Camera. We'll mark it in. Peekaboo. Yeah. All right, so that's all I want. And then we'll go ahead. Well, maybe we'll stretch this out just a little bit. Since just so it's as long as it was before. And we want to get rid of this. We want to get rid of this audio here. So we'll unlock that. Back to our effects. And then set this at, well, we have 30, I think. I'm pretty sure it was 30. And then add our film dissolve. Um, I'm to have to add a little bit more to that. I think that's the whole thing. And if you guys ever see that, for whatever reason, this um, transition isn't wanting to go where you want it, you can, if you double click it, it'll bring this up in the effects control. And on your alignment, you can end it, cut, start, or center. I always like it centered, that way it's getting frames from both parts of the video. All right, so we'll go ahead and watch this one more time, and hopefully this is the last time we have to do it. Okay. We got a package today. Okay, so to me, that's good. Um, still got to add our subscribe button. Which is simple because we're just doing basically the same thing that we did before. But actually, I need to come over here. So when you guys have these, um, the text or pictures on top of these you can see that it's going to cover your video um, so all you have to do here I mean you can come over here and scale it through the position by you know moving these I don't want to do that just double click and it'll be it'll pull this up and then you can just drag it where you want it it's so much easier than having to mess with the position um, for our scale I'm just going to do 75 that way it's not too big it's not too small Uh, let's stretch that out just a little bit. Okay, so we're going to be doing we're going to be doing the same thing that we did before. We're going to start it off at zero, and about when this gets right there where it you know reaches its max, we're going to go ahead and make this seventy five, maybe seventy. We'll have to move it over a little bit. That's okay. There we go. That's perfect. And then we're going to come over here. And when this starts to go back down, we're going to hit another keyframe. And then go all the way to the end and make our last keyframe and set this to zero. Just if everything will line up right. Let's just see if it's going to work. Yep. Okay. All right. So that worked. Um, so let me think. I think the last thing all we need to do now is add the music. So we'll have to import. I have a folder for my music. Uh, this is usually the one I use. You can get all this stuff off bensound.com. It's pretty nice. Um, the only thing is that the music does come really, really loud. So um, I'm going to quiet it down by, by, by about uh, 10 decibels. So if you just right-click on the, thing, on the uh, music here and you go to audio gain, you can either adjust or set it to whatever you need it to. I just do adjust because it pops up. I'm going to set it to negative 10. Um, let's see. So we're going to drag this in. you got to hold the audio on. And drag this. Yeah, we'll do it right there. As you can see, this is really long. I don't want this because this covers most of the video, and I don't want that. So, again, this is where this little cut tool comes in. I'm going to cut it about right there. And we're going to delete the rest of that. And the audio transitions I was talking about, this is where it comes in handy because I don't have to mess with all the, you know, sitting here making key or using your pen tool to make keyframes on it. And it's just a mess. So they have these lovely little things right here. Constant gain is usually what I use. I just, no rhyme or reason. I just like the way it works. So I'll drag that to the, the ends of them. And this one I'm going to make a little bit longer just so it has a slight quiet because what it's going to do is it's going to quiet the music and i'll show you so this is what i'm talking about the full it's you know 
trying to run at full um, resolution and I don't want that. And it's not um, rendered and I'll show you guys how to do that too. Okay, so you can see that the audio kind of slowly came in and then kind of faded away. And that's what I want. So essentially this video I think is done other than the very end of it. And all we got to do there is hit this, put it in here. I usually make this about 10 seconds, which you can see right below it has a duration period. About 10 seconds is usually what I do. Um, let's see, we have to add our film dissolve because we love it so much. Set that to zero five. Now let's just see what it looks like. <laughs> okay, so I don't want to do that. I'm gonna add this in here just so it gets quiet before because I'm gonna add this music back into it. About right there, that's probably good. Now we're going to add a constant gain to it. We're going to cut it at the end so it doesn't go longer than the video, which I have done in one of my videos. All right, so let's check see how this looks. <laughs> All right, so that looks pretty good to me. So the last thing that we have to do, well, there's a couple of things, is we have to render it and then we have to export it. Um, to render it is real simple. You just come up here to sequence and then you can render just the effects or you can render the whole thing. I'm just going to go ahead and render the whole thing since I'm done. Okay, so the render is done. So I had one more thing that I wanted to show you guys because I just found out about this not that long ago. Um, if you hit your uh, tilt key, which is the one that's right below your escape button. So see, I'm We've got the blue outline here, so I'm working here. If I hit the tilde key, it makes it full um, full screen, which is nice when you're trying to sit here and watch the rest of the video like I'm getting ready to do. Um, just to make sure all your uh, frames and everything is, looks good, all your transitions and all that. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it other than exporting it, which that's real easy, and that's where I'm going to leave you. Um, if you like the video, again, you know, please subscribe, like, you know, watch the rest of the videos. We try to do the best that we can. Um, if you guys like these kind of videos, if you want to see maybe some web development stuff, because I do a little bit of that too, you know, you guys request that. Whatever you guys want to see, just let us know and we'll do it. So, I'm done with this. I want to export it. Um, all I have to do is come over here to File, and then go down to Export, and then hit Media, or you can just hit Control M. Now, and another important thing here, guys, because we had to change the um, folder in the beginning, to change the folder in your export, because it took me a while to figure this out, you have to click right here at the output name. You have to click on the name. And that's, see, it's in my last video. So I'm going to go back to my Final Cuts. What did I name it as? Oh, right here. Okay, so now it's going to um, save my MP4 in my folder that I want, because otherwise it'll it'll do it in the last folder you had, and I have searched for a long time trying to figure out where they went. And then we'll just hit save. And then once that's done, you, know, you really shouldn't have to mess with too much of any of this. I never do. Um, maybe if you're a little bit more high-end user, maybe, I don't know. Um, so once we're done here, all we do is hit export. So we're gonna hit export, and that's it for this video. So I hope you guys like it.